So we've gone ahead and have drawn a picture that is based on the given description. We have labeled upstream on the right side of the diagram and downstream on the left side. We know that the boat is traveling upstream, that is indicated in the question. So basically it's moving against the current of this river. And so we have shown the water itself moving to the left in this diagram, and then the boat is moving to the right, again, in the upstream direction. Now, since the water would be flowing to the left in this diagram, we have made sure to include a negative sign on its velocity, whereas the boat, since it's traveling to the right, will have a positive sign for its velocity. And in parts A and B, we need the magnitude and the direction of the boat's velocity with respect to the ground. Now, it might be intuitive that if you were an observer standing over here on the ground and you saw the boat going 14 kilometers per hour to the right, but the water was moving to the left at 9 kilometers per hour, then overall the boat's velocity should just be 5. More formally, we can use the relative velocity equation. And it tells us that the velocity of the boat relative to the ground, which is what we're looking for in part A, is equal to the velocity of the boat with respect to the water plus the velocity of the water with respect to the ground. So what we'll do is we will plug in the given values and this will help us find the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground. So the velocity of the boat with respect to the water, that was given as positive 14 kilometers per hour. And then we're going to add that to the velocity of the water with respect to the ground, which again was negative 9 kilometers per hour. Now, of course, when we add these two together, we get the answer that we sort of obtained using our intuition. We end up with 5 kilometers per hour as the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground. That would be the velocity as measured by an observer on the ground. So this would be the magnitude of the velocity. And then since it turned out to be positive, five kilometers per hour. The answer to part B, which was the direction, would be in the positive direction or upstream. Remember we called the positive direction upstream. So here are the two answers to parts A and B. We look at parts C and D and we are told that a child is on the boat and he is going to walk from the front of the boat to the rear at six kilometers per hour with respect to the boat. Now we need the magnitude and direction of the child's velocity with respect to the ground. So here is that child, and we have shown the child moving from the front of the boat to the rear. So notice the child would be moving in the leftward direction, and that's why when we have written the velocity of the child, we have included that negative sign right there. Also notice the way we wrote that. We wrote the velocity of the child with respect to the boat, and that is actually how it was phrased in the question. So we've used that notation V subscript CB is equal to negative six kilometers per hour. The question wants the magnitude and direction of the velocity of the child's velocity with respect to the ground. So basically we're looking for the velocity of the child with respect to the ground. So that would be the notation that we would use. Let's take a look at the relative velocity equation again. Here it is. And we've written it a little bit differently this time because of the difference in the question. We have the velocity of the child with respect to the ground, which is what we're looking for. This will equal the velocity of the child with respect to the boat plus the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground. If these equations are a little bit confusing, it might help to think of it this way, at least this is how I think about it. These letters here and here should always be the same. And if you imagine that those letters cancel out in a sense, then you would have V subscript CG on the left side is equal to V subscript C g on the right side. So the best way to set these relative velocity questions up is to make sure that these numbers, or excuse me, that these letters sort of on the inside of the velocity equation are the same, and then to imagine that if they were to cancel out, then the left side subscript should have the same subscript as the right side. So that's how you set up these relative velocity equations. We're ready to plug in the known values so the velocity of the child with respect to the ground equals the velocity of the child with respect to the boat. If you look at all the information we've presented, that's that one right there, negative six kilometers per hour, plus the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground. Now we didn't put that in the picture, but that's actually what we found in part 
A and B of the question. If you recall, the velocity of the boat with respect to the ground was positive 5 kilometers per hour. So we're going to add 5 kilometers per hour into our equation. And of course, if we work this out, we see that the velocity of the child with respect to the ground is negative 1 kilometer per hour. So for part C, the magnitude of the child's velocity with respect to the ground would just be 1 kilometer per hour because you basically just take the absolute value. And then in part D, the direction, now because this came out to be negative, then that velocity would be pointing to the left, and we can see that that is downstream. So the correct answer for the direction of the child's velocity with respect to the ground would be downstream.